This video was made possible by Good Better Best Tuition Services. Please subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Today we are going to be discussing percentages. Specifically, we are going to be dealing with writing fractions as percentages, writing percentages as fractions, and then calculating a percentage of a number. Okay, so let's discuss writing common fractions as percentages. What's important for you to know is that it's implied that when you write down a percentage, the denominator is 100. So when they give you a common fraction, we need to convert that to a denominator of 100. So let's say that they ask you to write two fifths as a percentage. How would we do that? We need to convert to an equivalent fraction over 100. So what must I do to 5 to get 100? I need to multiply it by 20. And what I do to the denominator, I also need to do to the numerator. And 2 times 20 is 40. This tells me that 2 over 5 is 40%. Now let's look at the following example. We have 21 over 10. Now, we've got to convert to a denominator of 100. What did we do to 10 to get 100? We multiplied by 10. That means that we need to multiply the numerator by 10 as well. 21 times 10 is equal to 210, and that gives us 210%. Now let's look at the next example. In this case, the denominator of 8 does not convert to a denominator of 100. However, it does convert to a denominator over 1000. So what did I multiply 8 by to get 1000? I multiplied it by 125. That means that I must multiply 1 by 125 as well. That leaves me with 125 over 1000. but is that a percentage? Is it in percentage form? No, it isn't. What do we need to do to get this into percentage form? We need to divide 1000 by 10 to get it into a denominator of 100. So what I do to the denominator, I must also do to the numerator. And 125 divided by 10 is 12,5. Is it in percentage form now? Yes, it is. And that will give us 12,5. Now when we need to read out percentages as common fractions, the solution is fairly easy. For example, we have 80%. All we need to do is write that 80% with a denominator of 100 and simplify. In other words, 80% is the same thing as 80 over 100. Now we simplify by finding the highest common factor and dividing by that. So we find that 20 divides into both 80 and 100, leaving us with 4 over 5. And that's how we've read it in 80% as a common fraction. Now let's look at 56%. We know that we need to write that as 56 over 100. Now what do we do? We, we need to look for the highest common factor, the number that divides into both 56 and 100 and we find that it's 4. 100 divided by 4 is 25 and 56 divided by 4 is 14. This leaves us with an answer of 14 over 25. Let's look at our third example. Now remember we need to write this percentage as a number over 100 and that will give us 125 over 100. What's our next step? Our next step is to simplify by finding our highest common factor. What number divides into 125 and 100? 25, that's correct. Now that gives us an improper fraction of 5 over 4, and we simplify that into 1 and a quarter. So let's discuss calculating the percentage of a number. The first thing we need to do is write that percentage as a fraction 
and then we need to multiply out. What do I mean? Let's have a look at example one. Let's say your teacher told you that you got 84% for your maths test. The maths test was out of 50. What was your actual mark? How do we work that out? Let me show you. So this is how we would set it out. Remember I said that you need to write the percentage as a fraction and a percentage is always a number over 100. So 84 over 100. And what was the test out of? The test was out of 50. So it's 84 over 100 times 50 over 1. So do you remember we spoke about cancelling in the bow tie method? You can cancel down and down and across and across. So we can cancel from 1 to 84 and we can cancel from 50 to 100. So we can say that 50 goes into itself once. And 50 goes into 100 twice. And that leaves us with 84 divided by 2. What does that give us? It gives us 42. What does this mean? It means that this is the mark that you got out of 50. 42 out of 50 is 84%. Now let's work out 25% of 60. What's our first step? Our first step is that we need to write the percentage as a fraction and then multiply out by the number that's given to us. So that would be 25 over 100 multiplied by 60. So that gives us 25 over 100 multiplied by 60 over 1. Now we can cross cancel in the bow tie method as we discussed before. So we can cancel across from 25 to 1 and we can cancel across from 60 to 100 or we can cancel down, okay? So let's look at what we can do. What's the easiest one? Let's cancel here, yeah, 25 and 100, because we know that 25 goes into itself, but it also goes into 100 four times. So let's do that. So we are left with a quarter times 60. Now we can multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator, or we can continue cancelling across like that. We can say 4 goes into itself once, 4 goes into 60, 15 times. Now we, we can multiply numerator times numerator. So that's 1 times 15 and 1 times 1. 1 times 15 is 15. 1 times 1 is 1. That leaves us with 15. So 25% of 60 is 15. Let's do one more example. Let's work out 75% of 500. So what are our steps? We need to write 75% as a fraction, which is 75 over 100, and then multiply it out by 500 over 1. So what do we do now? We've got to cancel using the bow tie method. So we say that 100 goes into itself one time, and it goes into 500 five times, and what are we left with? We, we left with numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. And so we say 75 times 5. 75 times 5 is 375 and 1 times 1 is 1. So our answer is 375. Thank you for watching with us. And then if you need tuition in maths, accounting, physics, English or Afrikaans, grades 1 to 12, we are based in Lotus River Cape Town and we can help you. Please feel free to contact me on the number on the screen. Keep well and we hope to see you next time.